family and friends leave because I don't know if I don't know. She's already looking at me like... Most awesome experiences getting to work with 
not only to the guy who's like the lead of the show, um, I have emotional emotional breakdown while writing and recording it, which you can actually hear on episode one. Um, or, yeah, in fact, that's actually me not acting anymore, just becoming a crime lover, and that's what Yes, acting and lover, but then you go, happy man. So, but the movie, you know, I've heard about the movie for a while now, and I know that the show did really do well. So there's every chance that, that you know, I'm sure our acquisitions department and automation is burning the midnight oil to try to get, uh, you know, their emails answered. So we'll see. We'll see. I certainly, certainly hope, and if it does come down the wire, uh, I hope that Pat and I can get to work on it together as writers. Uh, and get uh, If I had, I like just, I'm just totally negating what I said about the favorites. If I had to pick a favorite, like a gunpoint, I would, I would, I would say Simon Pegg, just because of the breadth of experience of working on that show, gave me not only as a writer but as an actor. So yeah, those of you who have not seen Simon Pegg, please treat yourself. It's an amazing show. I would be fanboy over it just as much if I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, it's a really, really awesome show about, shall we say, the emotional consequences of time travel. Uh, so, there, and Patrick Seitz, who most of you probably know as Germany from Italia, um, and his father, I the servant in, uh, in Blackwell. Uh, it's also a dear friend of mine and a hell of a writer. We got to work on the adapted scripts for Stein's Get Together, and I got to play the lead, uh, who is a good friend. A really good show, uh, one of the best things I've ever gotten to work on, just a solid, solid show, and I try to plug that show as much as possible. It, ex it expands you, really. It enhances you as a person. If you watch it, it like I'm overselling it. It really works. You're not the same person when you, after you leave that show as when you go in. It's impossible. Uh, you in the back. You have a question. Ed Lorge, what frustrates you most about Polo? <laughs> Please. <laughs> then she never stops eating. My God. <laughs> I mean, that, that's great. I like, I like the girl with a healthy appetite. I don't like the girls that are like, oh, I'll just have a cup of steaming water with a chicken bone in it and a salad that I can look at. <laughs> I, want, I want a girl that's real comfortable to eat, but I mean, like, you know, I'll put up on a date with a girl the whole time, so. <laughs> I mean, I really, but no, Holo's a great character. I love, I love Lauren and Spicy and that whole thing, so, yeah. So, please, she's got to be crazy after a while. But she's got to leave. You know she's got to leave. She has a wolf tail. <laughs> she's got ears. She has a wings. And he's got furs and stuff in the back. Oh, just humigate <laughs> Not to mention she's a total troll. She does like to troll him and other people. That's the fun person to be around, though, it really is. That's really Rena in real life, by the way. She didn't have a tail. <laughs> Turn into a wolf, I've seen it happen. <laughs> you with the top hat. Uh, I have two questions. You have two questions. I know. I will answer half of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, my first one uh, pertains to Italia. Uh, what do you think about spin off sort of things like Net Italia, Me Italia, or Suki Italia? If you I think I got this stuff is fun. I, I love I love when things uh, kind of take on a life of their own outside of the original property because I think it tests to just how much fun people have watching the original and then we go and expand the universe so to speak. I mean it's happened with all the really great shows in the world. Like look at Doctor Who's been going on for 50 years. And like look, look, look how huge the Doctor Who universe has gotten even just outside the official canon. I, mean, I love that kind of stuff. So I'm all for it. I think it's like hysterical. Uh, and my second question is you already said what would happen if uh, France and especially Joey and met each other. I'm curious what they would do if they met you and yourself and knew what you were. <laughs> 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 Go to France anymore without the 
people want to punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at Yeah. And, um, 
regards to characters and how they draw out very dark materials, I think we can all relate to that because life is huge and unbelievable.